Hello, I'm Matt and welcome back to Workshop. So four weeks ago we made this gin, so now it's time to get it strained and bottled. So let's get started. So the first job is to get this strained through a sieve. Now, if you wanted it really clear, you could put it through a muslin cloth afterwards, but I'm not going that far. Obviously the sieve is catching all these beautiful gin-soaked berries, but do not be tempted to push them through the sieve to get all the juice out. It will make the gin really cloudy. I mean, if you want to use them, they'd be great in a boozy apple and blackberry crumble. So, I was never very good at physics. This recipe called for two bottles of gin, then we added the berries and the sugar. So, I'm trying to get it back into the same two bottles. And I think the volume might have increased slightly. But when you have leftover gin that won't fit in a bottle, I guess the only thing to do is drink it. After I cleaned all the sticky mess off the bottles, I could get the distillery label in place. I'm also adding the date it was bottled, or the month it was bottled. Not that I can imagine needing this information, because I don't think it's going to sit around that long. So that's it all done. These are ready to drink now, but I'm going to try and hold on to these until Christmas, and perhaps we'll sit down and try it and have a drink then. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe for more videos.